What is going on guys? Uh, today I want to talk to you about something that is relatively a uh, new discovery for me. Uh, I am not the world's biggest traveler. I will admit that right off the bat. For some reason, I never caught the travel bug. It's not something that I kind of uh, worship at the altar of. Uh, my travel life has increased significantly over the last few months and it's just going to continue to do so. Relative to the growth of masculine style, relative to uh, my new role within Beckett and Rob as we open up new stores, uh, I'm traveling a lot more and it's great. And what's fun for me with that is it's a new challenge. I'm figuring out um, how to work out while I'm away from home. I'm figuring out how to eat better. I'm figuring out how to manage my sleep cycle, how to uh, deal with downtime when I'm away from my wife and kids. I'm learning how to do all these things. Uh, a lot of you guys have already figured this out, but for me it's kind of fun because it's a new challenge. And one of the things that I'm really learning to get good at is dressing well while I'm traveling. Due to what I do with clothing, uh, I have to pack a lot more than a lot of guys. It doesn't mean that I don't want to pack as minimally as possible, and it also doesn't mean that I don't need to be very conscious of what I wear when I'm on the airplane. Uh, I've written about this in the past with some of my lim limited travels, but one of the things that I think is a huge facet of being able to travel well, and that includes in comfort and in style, is being able to wear the right shoes when you're flying. Shoes are kind of a big one because there's so many variables that, that are involved with this. In fact, I've broken it down to three of them and then they each have kind of their little subgroups. So first one is functionality, second one is comfort, and then the third one is style. Ever since we've been post 9-11, functionality has this kind of dual purpose when it comes to shoes because as you're going through TSA and you're spending time taking them off, putting them on, you have to do that. Uh, when you're leaving, when you're coming back, it takes more time. And as frustrating as that experience is, trust me, I hate going through, uh, going through security. You wanna be able to make it as streamlined as possible. So there's the functionality of having a pair of shoes that's very easy to remove and very easy to put back on again. Uh, can you imagine if you were wearing a pair of like, I don't know, military combat boots that you had to lace up through multiple different iterations just to be able to take them on and put them off again? That's frustrating, that takes up way too much time. It's not worth it. On the other hand, you don't wanna wear something that's so easily, so easy to slip on and off that if you're late for a flight and you have to run down uh, and catch it up on the tarmac, you, you need the functionality of them still being able to work as shoes. So to that extent, a pair of slippers isn't gonna work. Um, comfort is obviously a big one. You need to be able to have something that you can wear for 12 hours at a time without your feet feeling like they've just completely died while they're in there. And then style's a big one too. Uh, sometimes if you're like me, I'm traveling in jeans and a, a button-up shirt or even a t-shirt, a sweater. Other times I'm traveling in a full suit. Uh, sometimes it's within the same trip that I'm traveling in either one of those. And so for me, the versatility of the style is a huge thing. So I'm gonna show you three options that I've used in the past. One of these I just experimented with and it has become my current favorite. So a pair of sneakers is kind of the default for everybody. Uh, something like this, they're great because you can slip them on and off. Kills, it's great with your functionality right there. Uh, you can run and move in them very easily, which is great for functionality. Obviously, super comfortable. Um, style, they can be stylish if you get the right pair, but only to the extent that you're wearing casual clothes. Unless you're wearing a super casual suit and you've got that style really dialed in, this is not gonna look good in a suit. This is gonna look pretty ridiculous. And heaven forbid you meet somebody on a plane that uh, you could have a good opportunity to expand your network, further your career, do better things, and uh, they see you uh, prioritizing comfort way too much over the image that you present, and it has a negative impact on you and your ability to network. So these have been great for me in the past because of uh, their, those other variables, but as I find myself traveling more in suits, I can't do these anymore. At least I can't do these anymore with I can't justify bringing these just as a pair of travel shoes. Uh, another thing that I've tried in the past is something like drivers or loafers. Uh, these are really good, easy to slip on and slip off. These definitely are comfortable, and they also can work really well in that style department. Again, they lean fairly casual, and so they are a little bit tougher to wear with a business suit, but they work a whole lot better than a pair of sneakers does. You know, the contrast between business and casual is significantly lower in this than it is in this. There's a huge contrast here. The downside to this, if you've never tried to run in a pair of loafers or drivers, it sucks. These things, your ankles will slip right out, and 
if you get them so that they're perfectly fit, yeah, you can do that, but you're paying a huge amount of money. And so maybe it's worth it. But for me, this is just kind of like my second best option. So my new favorite, just tried these out. I mean, I've owned these boots for years, but this, this approach to, to travel style, I love this. It's a pair of Chelsea's. So look at this. The way that this kind of hits all three of those variables. Really easy to get on and off, you know, just slip on, so super simple there. At the same time, they're great to run in and they're great to move around in, so that's a win. Uh, extremely comfortable, and you know what, honestly, if they get to the point where they're not, which uh, it kind of works for all of these, but it certainly works for these as well, they're easy for me to slip off while I'm on the plane or while I'm waiting at the gate, and so the comfort aspect is, is big on these. But here's the real win on a pair of Chelsea boots, is the style versatility. Uh, I can wear these with jeans and have them look great, and I can wear them with a suit and have them look great. Now you may have a style that leans, it may lean a little bit more refined than rakish, and so you may not wanna have the bright red elastic in there. Uh, these are, this is a pair from Cobbler Union, great boots. Uh, there are plenty of other brands who make these in a style that is a little bit less kind of in your face with the red, and so it'll be just a, a simple brown. Uh, you can get these in black. I love these in suede. I think that increases the versatility because it's really great casual and still dresses up really well. If you wanted to wear them in something like a calf skin, it, you just know that it makes everything lean a little bit formal. But I would say get them in a brown as opposed to a black because of what you do as far as the versatility of being able to dress them up or dress them down. But Chelsea's, man, these are my new favorites. Seriously, I don't think I'm ever gonna travel in anything else just because of what they offer. And rather than having to pack two different pairs of shoes that will work to kind of satisfy those needs, I can take these and then take a pair of dress shoes and I'm set. I'm, I'm set, I don't need to take anything else. So if you have not considered Chelsea's for travel, do it, otherwise you're missing out. I just mentioned something about refined and rakish. If those are unfamiliar terms for you, which that's great if they are, um, those are two of the three different archetypes that all men's style falls into. So we already talked about refined and rakish, and then the third one is rugged. If you have any interest in learning more about what those three archetypes are, and especially figuring out which of those three archetypes is the one that you most identify with, I've got a quiz, it's right down here below, it's seven questions, so it's really easy, and after you take it, it's gonna tell you which of the archetypes is yours, and it's gonna tell you more about what that is. The great thing about these is it makes it so much easier for you to improve your style in, its way, in a way that's consistent with your outlook on the world. 